Saluzo is a nation that has aggressive expansion reduction baked in from the get-go. I stacked this with the age bonus and espionage ideas and had a hell of a time. I'm not going to spoil what happens to make my face do this in this video, but you'll know exactly why I did it when you see it. If you want to see more of this campaign, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss a future part. It's how I gauge whether people are actually interested in seeing more of this content. Speaking of, we're really close to 100,000 subscribers. And we're trying to get there for the end of the month. We're in the home stretch now, so if you can help us out by subscribing, that'd be just swell. So Saluzo has some ridiculous starting ideas, uh, and I'm surprised a lot of people don't play as Saluzo. So you start with minus 15% aggressive expansion impact. So I, I don't know why people aren't talking about this nation a little bit more. You also start with uh, infantry combat ability, which means you will win most battles. And then early on, you have morale of armies plus 10%, so movement speed, which is again, ridiculously under undervalued. It's so useful. But then at the end, you get core creation cost minus 15%, which is also amazing if you're gonna expand any faster. So we're gonna see what we can do today as Saluza. First off, I'd like to point something out. So uh, I'm very fortunate that uh, I can do this full time. Thanks to all of you. Uh, YouTube is my full time job, which is great. And also kind of throws into question why I did four years of university and two degrees. But the worst part, the absolute worst part is this. I've been smoothing it over, but look, I have like an indentation where my headphones lie, which is fine when the headphones are on. That's great, no one can tell. But when I'm out and about and I can't smooth it over, people know and they, they judge you for it. I wasn't looking, I clicked the wrong button and instead we have taken out burglar lines. So I suppose we're gonna be conquering uh, Provence or Savoy very, very early. Oh my God, I've taken religious culture as well. My um, my finger is still fractured. It's still injured, <laughs> so I sometimes can't pull the wheel all the way down. <laughs> okay, so Savoy is allied uh, Provence, uh, which means that there's a little hug box going around me right now. Okay, that's okay. I can get allies, or I can't. Ah, wonderful. The surrender of Maine happened, and there's no war, meaning that France will probably defend Provence. Ladies and gentlemen, this is absolutely the worst start to the E4 campaign I've ever had. Three misclicks, kind of key misclicks. And, uh, and now this. Looks like there's going to be peace in the Iberian Peninsula, though. Castile has allied Portugal and Aragon, as well as Navarra. I've never seen that. Or at the very least, we've managed to ally the Castilians. And we can select our rivals of uh, Savoy and, uh, well, Provence. <laughs> this is the emptiest diplomatic screen I've ever seen in my life. My king is a embezzler and his son is greedy. And his wife's craven. What a lovely family. I mean, look, you don't, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth, do you? He's at minus three right now. We're doing it. I'm gonna try and take the fort first. I'm actually gonna go ahead and grab the free company as well. Surprised I didn't do that initially. Come on, Lath, this is not your first rodeo. How many men are we actually fighting? 15,000. Okay. I don't think I need the extra 5% morale. Just because he's on Miltek three and I'm on Miltek four and he's at war with the English. Get him, Genoa, get him. That was actually a relatively quick siege, nice, okay. We have control of the southern area-ish. I don't know if I, I should push or wait here or, I mean, the military difference is not too high. Does anyone actually pick Curtail Noble privileges? And if so, why? And how long have you been in prison for? Okay, well, there's the French war done. They have taken all of the English provinces as well as Brittany. This is a terrifying France, more so because of the name placement. I don't understand how the game comes up with these sorts of orientations, to be honest. Okay, are you loyal or disloyal or something? No, you're, you're very much loyal. So why aren't you helping? Okay, he's got a two-star general. Do not, a one-five, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of just gonna defend what I have, you know? Don't see myself pushing at all. So, I mean, sometimes this new AI is kind of passive. Like, I'm going to win the war. There's no two ways about it. And he's just going to sit there and let me. All right, you're done. I will take your money now and your southern provinces. Thank you very much. It's going to piss off the Pope because I got one of his cores, but that's fine. Oh, Miltek 5. Lovely. Savoy's guaranteed me. That is an interesting idea you have there of uh, which way around this uh, relationship goes. Do you have Miltek 5? I am outnumbered. But that's never stopped me before, so we're gonna go for it. This one's gonna be a bit more grueling than the last. It's also a case of if they get military access. Because if they do, Naples is gonna ruin my day. Okay, they have a lot more troops than they said they did. They said the map, oh my God. It told me they had 15,000, not 30,000. We're fighting three to one. Okay, this is bad. I don't know if I can win three to one. All right, uh, ooh. Okay, you do, you give military access to Naples. That's not good. Anyone else give military access to Naples? I think I'm just gonna smash and grab and just hope I can win this siege. Because theoretically, they shouldn't be able to get to me. Yup. Man, I gotta work on my theories. Time to, uh, time to death war, I suppose, lads. All right, and the Neapolitans don't come in. Yes, as planned. What the hell are you doing? Oh God, what is this? I can't, I can't do this. 
My nation is bleeding so much money, you have no idea. We're losing about 30 ducats a month just for that one battle. Yep, there's Avignon. That's fine. I've got sort of more pressing issues. Okay, there they are. Yep, go to that fort. Yep, good idea. Good idea. Go to that fort. Brilliant. Okay, we need them out of the empire, uh, which is good because less aggressive expansion. That's what I was waiting for. I really need to win this siege. We've been stuck at 42% for so long now. Yeah, that's an opportunity I can't miss. Jesus Christ. Okay, there you go. 15%. I'm going to let them break their teeth on that mountain fort for a little while. Naples is on medium. They're minus six away from coming out. One more, one more big win against them, then they should come out. Let's do it. Okay, that'll do. That'll do nicely. Naples, you want to come out now? Please, please come out. To be fair, 83%. I could probably get everything I want with 83%. That's what I want. I mean, it's a coalition of Burgundy and France, but that should be okay. Austria would come in as well. If I did at the end of the year, Austria wouldn't come in. Well, there's the Neapolitans out. Thank you very much, which gives us 99%. So let's wait until the end of the year and let's uh, pull out. All right, we go. We send the peace deal. We take the stuff. Salusa's so looking a little bit bigger. And now we hope, basically, that they don't join the coalition because we are in no fit state to fight. And we're about to go bankrupt. Okay, that it took them to just at 50. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, 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 how do I improve relations with Austria? I insult the rivals. So the rivals are you. Let's do that now. Huh? You like me a bit more now, yeah? Yeah, you do. Provided Austria doesn't join, we should be okay. France declared war on Savoy. I'm really stretching this idea of Saluzo's minus 15% aggressive expansion impact. Am I safe from you? Oh my god, I'm safe from the Austrians. Okay, right, we have this hope, boys. There's there's genuine hope. Never a good time when France and Burgundy are in a coalition against you. Especially if France is strong as this one. And that's a thing. Well, there goes Savoy. And you're a vassal of France now, I assume. Yep, okay. All right, this is... France is on my border. That's... Well, they always were on my border, but now they're like really on my border, you know? Jesus, this might be the strongest France I've seen this early game. It's been 20 years and he's already conquered, well, everything of France. He hasn't taken out Burgundy yet, but that's because Burgundy inheritance, inheritance hasn't fired. Uh, but he does have Geneva as a vassal. Ha! Huh, that I didn't expect. An independent Morea and an independent Creek. Jesus Christ, the French... Well, they've left the military coalition against me, but they are going a bit mental. So France is simultaneously smashing up Austria, Aragon, all of that stuff, which is fun. You want to see a trick? Uh, you see these, uh, Aragonese troops? Fight my rebels for me. I'll help, don't worry. <laughs> Appreciate that, mate. Much obliged. This could go horribly wrong. But, uh, fight my rebels. Oh my god, it was the right province. Nice. <laughs> I had a 25% chance of getting that. Thank you, fight my rebels for me, France. Much obliged to all of you. <laughs> oh, I can ally the Austrians now. The war's been going on long enough, I assume. Otherwise, I'm about to have to fight the French. I do not want to fight the French. <laughs> But I just say. But I just say about the French. I thought the war would be going on long enough. I don't think they'd call me in. It's not a situation you want to find yourself in. Oh, God. We're kind of holding our own, but that's because of a couple of rolls of nines. Uh, I'm going to get out of here before I die. It's been a pleasure. Well, how's that wall done? It's a white piece. Brilliant. <laughs> I mean, I, Saluzo, came in and, and demanded peace in Europe. In keeping with our uh, Iberian theme, I've uh, also allied the Portuguese. As well as the English. So I've currently allied Castile, Portugal, and England. And Austria, of course. I'm just going to be stuck here for years paying off these stupid loans. Uh, I mean, Gelra, their heir is... He's 37. Uh, is it worth it? It's just Gelra. I'm just trying to think of other ways to expand, lads. <laughs> right. What idea is good for Saluza? Well, that's terrifying. Please have a child. I mean, you're 17. We should be fine. You know what? Espionage ideas. We'll stack that um, aggressive expansion impact. Why not? I don't like the look of this. <laughs> I really don't like the look of this at all. Whew, okay, that takes a little bit of a weight off my chest. Jesus Christ. Uh, but I have an air. Wait. Oh. Oh, I've got a pursuit union over Austria. And the French have declared war on me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that I didn't expect. Um, Austria. <laughs> How can I? There's no way I can keep them loyal. Uh, okay, what with the French? Let's handle that first. Jesus Christ. I mean, my allies came in, right? I need to fight this because there's no garrison. Okay, good. I mean, at least there's still a garrison in there. I don't know what... Okay, right. Burgalones, 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 Burgalones. We gotta... Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm panicking. I can't afford for Chiamberi to, to fall. Our troops aren't half bad, you know. They're not horrible. I just don't want to do it about Austria. 
Eighty-one percent. They're actually not too disloyal. If I can get myself a uh, diplomatic reputation advisor, I could potentially do it. England, do you want to do something? No. Consort Regency. Right. You died now. This is when you decided to die at the peak of. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Yep. Diplomatic reputation. Nice. And then, support loyalists. Oh, not quite. Losing so much money a month. Most of that's from uh, corruption, to be fair. So, shouldn't be too long. Not a permanent thing. I'm just permanently in debt. This game. There's no way I'm not gonna leave debt. Wait, there's no way I'm not. There's no way I'm going to leave debt. Not no way that I'm not double negative slave. Hey, let's trip you up. Kind of want to wait until I get the minus 20% aggressive expansion impact, so I can actually take some land here. I'm getting greedy. I know. I'm getting greedy. Burgundy is getting taken out by Bohemia, apparently. Why? What did you do? Oh my god. <laughs> Burgundy. Stop attacking into the Empire. It's been so unsuccessful for you. Although, to be fair, Mecklenburg is the Emperor now. Excellent. I took Paris. But, uh, because England wanted it. <laughs> they occupied it. Oh, Jesus. We are about to be hurt. Run! <laughs> I don't know by what gods... <laughs> Grace, we decided to get out of there, but Jesus Christ, that's fortunate. I'd be inclined to give you some in England if you were actually here, you know. <laughs> 14% because I occupied bloody Paris for them and they're blockading. Great. They apparently have done 14%. Came in and hit me with a three-star general of 4-6. Okay, right. I've got to be a bit careful there. I risked it there. That was a terrible, terrible mistake. We're getting our ass beat by the French. Not even close anymore. Oh, Naples, despite the fact they have 20% war score against me, will just peace out. Oh no, I have 20% war score against them. Lovely. Okay, well, then get your, rid of your alliance with the, the French, I suppose. Uh, we'll take even more aggressive expansion impact. So we currently have, what, minus 45, 35%, something like that? <laughs> it's not like you did anything, England, to be honest. You just sat on your island to white peace. I mean, it's not really that consequential, mate. I don't think there's any men left in Iberia or Italy or we've just- everyone's dead. This war's been going on almost 10 years now. We, they, we, everyone's dead. There's no one left. Oh, the siege of Paris. Okay, that's 99%. I can do whatever I want now. <sighs> I can take all this land, but because of my ideas, it barely costs anything. Literally, no one joined a coalition. Done. Oh my god. That took a long ass time. Pay our loans. Let's start getting some semblance of normality back. Okay, things aren't quite as bad as I thought they were. I thought we were going to get the Peasants War, which we're not going to get, because uh, I managed to restructure my loans. So I just took out, uh, paid off my 1% loans, took out a bunch of new, larger 1% loans, and paid off the 4% loans with that. So it's, I've sort of consolidated them. <laughs> Wait, Provence joined the Empire? All right. They're under the protection of the mighty Mecklenburg now. Oh, God, I've just seen what's happened in sort of Brandenburg area. That is disgusting. That is not what you want to see. And Lugwe's going a bit ham as well. What else has been going on? Naxos has expanded. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. England, I don't know about you, man. You, you really, you're not great as an ally. Honestly. You never leave your island. Oh my god, admin tech. That's new. Uh, we're probably gonna take a military idea just because we can. And we'll go, I don't know, we'll stack, we'll stack the morale. So we'll go defensive. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> just, we'll call in the English as well, but we're, we're just gonna go for it. Take out Genoa. Uh, we'll also get you involved by supporting loyalists. Come on, Austria. We've got things to do. People to see. Are you sure? Oh, damn, you are sure. Okay, fair enough, Austria. You, you do you, buddy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not launch a war against the entirety of Europe? <sighs> Burgundy's in the Empire, you see. Uh, I just wanted to fight the French, and so I called in everyone to do that. We're massively outnumbered. This was a horrible, horrible mistake. I mean, they'll give me everything I want now. I should probably do that, considering what war with the HRE. <laughs> All right, now time to fight the French. Oh, Portugal coming. Two arms, Portugal, two arms. Ooh, I'd rather not fight that. I'd rather not fight that either. Do you have a line yet? Do you have a line yet? He just got it. Okay. Why are we holding? Okay, we're not holding anymore. That's bad. All right, there's only one hope I have of winning this war. Okay, Austria's gone. There's, there's, they, they're gone. That's nothing I can do about that. Artillery barrage, Paris. Go, go, go. Who will come in? Oh, great, the English. Come on, England. Just sit in there. Nice. Good moral support, that. Yep, just go around me. Go, go take Calais. That's what you need to do. Go take Calais. 
Ignore the fact that I'm taking out your capital. Just go take Calais. And this is the entire reason we wanted to do this, so we get the French out early. Right, now we can actually focus on other things. I just want to reset the truce time of France, to be honest. That was, that's the main reason for this entire war. I don't have a reason beyond that. But I feel like it was kind of unnecessary. Resetting truce time wars are meant to be quick, easy wars. Not this. I haven't, a, I haven't played a Prussia campaign in a really long time. Maybe we should do that. Well, let me know in the comments if you want me to actually play a full Prussia campaign. Like, as overpowered as I can. That's a, a larger battle than I was expecting, and we did so much damage. Jesus Christ. Mecklenburg, I don't really care about too much. I already broke Bohemia's alliance with him. I'm supposed to give him to revoke an imperial reform, but that seems a bit unnecessary. No, what I really want to do is vassalize Burgundy. They don't have any cause anymore, which kind of sucks, but they do have a bunch of claims. And I have a soft spot for Burgundy, you know that. Well, I say soft spot, more of an abusive relationship with them. But still, they will take vassalization. This could be a terrible idea. All right, Austria is no longer disloyal at all, so we can get rid of that enable support loyalist thing. We'll pay off their debt, which makes them loyal, and the Burgundians are loyal. Brilliant. All right, I think that's where we'll leave it for today, lads. Uh, yeah, I I'd be happy to continue this campaign. Uh, bear in mind, I do record things quite far in advance, so uh, if you like and subscribe from this video, then I'll know to sort of stagger it and that sort of stuff, so you'll see it a little bit in the future, provided this gets all the support it, it deserves, I think. Because it's been a bit of an insane campaign. Bit of a slow start. Didn't think we'd get much uh, much plays with it. But instead, we've got Burgundy as a vassal and Austria as a junior partner in the personal union. So we're in a good place. Probably conquer the rest of France. Go after Sardinia Piedmont. Maybe form Italy. Who knows? In any case, lads, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, please do like and subscribe. It really does help us out. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Shout out to our Patreons. J. Ericsson321. Shadow Singer. Jado52. Cargan. Flyerton. Henrique. Redguard76, Xiaomi, and Charlie Demorel. Your support means a lot, guys.